There's been a ton of activity in the Pilot Flying J project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. EVGO celebrated their 15th year anniversary by posting into social media an animated GIF showing the progress over time of their network in, um, let's see, starting in 2010. Yeah, so in uh, five year blocks. <clears throat> and you can see this last slide here, all the yellow is basically Pilot Flying J. One or two of these are not, but the vast majority of them are Pilot Flying J. And you can see we started in 2023, and that's a pretty significant uh, boost to the overall EVGO network. You can see EVGO is very heavily clustered in the state of California. I don't know why, but they just love the state of California and Upper East Coast as well. There's a ton of EVGO. Those are the two places that they heavily have presence in. And then it's battering in other metropolitan areas throughout the United States. But Pilot Flying J is really filling in a lot of the in-between areas of the map for EVGO and getting individual pips spread out a heck of a lot more than what their uh, previous or what their existing business model is to basically cluster around areas where there is need for EV charging is more or less what they uh, target, ensuring that their stations are profitable, which is noble. Uh, nothing wrong with making a profit. Um, but Pilot Flying J has a different approach where they're not looking for the daily grind um, refueling of people in multi-tenant dwellings and things like that. They're looking for people who are on road trips, and those are their captive customers. Going over the uh, stations that have additional stall counts, I think I'm going to make this a regular addition to these updates uh, because the numbers are growing. This is Elkton, Maryland, the only station that is known to have four, I'm sorry, four uh, dispensers or eight stalls. Look at the size of that canopy. This is going to be just not enormous. It's a very good location as well as on Interstate 95 at a junction point. <clears throat> so north of uh, Washington, D.C., I'm sure it's going to be heavily used. So I'm... Um, guessing they're going to make their money back there pretty quick. But as far as six stall locations, we've got two new additions. Lodi, California is now on the map. You look, most of these have canopies as well. So it's kind of hard to build larger canopies for these um, additional stall stations, but that seems to not be phasing them. They just adjusted their canopy designs and are accommodating. And um, Coca, Florida also, six stalls. You can see them right there. The only one of these that is open right now is Wildwood, Florida, and we're waiting for all the other ones to open. Um, I'm going to go take a look at one of these uh, when it opens, if I can make the drive out there. I don't know which one. Maybe Coca, Florida is going to be... The, well, actually, that's in the Space Coast. Yeah, <laughs> Wildwood is kind of close, but it's closer. It's not close. But anyway, I, I kind of like to see one of these larger form factor stations for myself. Here's the Plugshare map. As you can see, a uh, significant amount of pips uh, just for this one network. These are only open stations. On the next slides, we'll see additional stations. And um, I did not um, update away from the uh, coming in by 2024 map. I'm going to be doing that over time. I've been giving it some thought, and I am going to be making a transition. Did not do it for this update. Progress over time, though, as you can see, very steady. We're headed towards 500, and if you draw that line out, uh, we can basically extrapolate when that's going to be because their progress has been very steady. It seems as though they've found their stride, and they're continuing with um, unabated progress in additional station counts, both spotted under construction and open. Very steady progress. You can see now we're um, getting close to 220. We're past October. We started in October 2023, so we're right around the two-year mark. Um, for when stations opened. If people remember rolling back the clock, there were eight stations opened all on the same day in uh, September 2023. And here's what the map looks like that I'm going to be moving away from. So get a good look now because we're not going to be seeing it here. I believe on the next update I'll have transitioned to the other map. Uh, no change here. And again, this will be a retired view. No reason to keep tracking because we're kind of past, you know, it's 2025. We're heading into 2026. So I think it's about time we retire this map. Everyone say their emotional uh, goodbyes to it. But we do have our big red arrows, which will likely continue into the next uh, generation of maps. Let's go ahead and go get into what's new. Tuxigi, Alabama which is right here on Interstate 85. And if I could call out Interstate 85, it's getting a good deal of love because an additional one up here in North Carolina 
um, what is it called, McLeansville, North Carolina, is right where Interstate 40 and 85, there's a junction, and then 85 and 40 coalesce into a single interstate for a while, and it's like 10 lanes, five in each direction, so it's very uh, wide interstate during uh, that stretch. And just a little bit up the road, right here in Graham, North Carolina, is an additional station, and we're starting to get into that uh, phase where they're running out of places to put these things. And if they're going to make it to 500, they got to double these numbers. So that eventually they're going to start stacking these things up. And if you look right here, and that's all Interstate 85 and it's very thick with the numbers. And we got another station on Interstate 85 uh, this time. This is Piedmont, South Carolina, right here. And there was a sleeper site. It's um, Telapusa, Georgia. And I remember seeing this pip uh, early on, but because they put this station into Temple, Georgia, and this was so close, it's like literally 20 miles down the road, I thought they were not going to do it, but they proved me wrong. They stuck to script and they built the station. So right where it was supposed to be. Let's go ahead and run down this list real quick. North Charleston, South Carolina, which is over here, now open. Piedmont, South Carolina, as I mentioned, up on Interstate 85, open. Casper, Wyoming, right here in the middle of the state, now open. Switching over to the stations that are now spotted under construction, which is Mount Vernon, Illinois. North Platte, Nebraska. And this one also was a long-standing pip that I was thinking was abandoned, but they proved me wrong there again. It is now under construction confirmed. Uh, Coca, Florida, which is over here on the Space Coast. That's a six stall station. Wells, Nevada, way over here in the eastern portion of northern Nevada. Not really near anything at all. Um, and Lodi, California, over here, another canopy station getting put into the state of California. This is what it looks like in table form. If you look, Dale King from King Brother Construction has been a pretty steady source of uh, spotting information. He's actually a part of the company that builds these stations, and he proudly posts uh, construction videos of these stations into LinkedIn. Feel free to follow him on LinkedIn if you want to see uh, some of the stations that he posts. And it went back for some reason. Okay, so various counts. We're at 218 with 23 spotted under construction. Texas is still ahead of Ohio by 10. No change there. The central time zone has lost its lead. I think it was at 9 ahead of the eastern time zone, but we had a cluster of them on Interstate 85. All those were in the eastern time zone. Uh, those were open, and there was one sleeper site as well, so there's additional progress made in the east. Uh, mountain time zone, look at this, 25. Definitely a lot of progress in the mountain time zone. Pacific is lagging still, but I think those numbers are going to change pretty quickly because there's a dense population of coming soon pips in the state of California specifically that we're still waiting to materialize. And if they're going to make it to 500, I'm sure all those are going to start to light up here pretty soon. Really no change to call out on the interstates. Um, where is 85? Right down here with six. Yeah, so not a big bump there. Um, still 40 and 75 is the two uh, leaders duking it out for first place. That's the update I have for now. I adjusted the slide deck of all the canopy locations to put the ones under construction that are spotted first because that seems to be where there's more activity. And then all the ones that are currently open that are really starting to get obscenely long in the slide deck, but I have them there just for posterity's sake, if nothing else. And if, you, if you're like me and you like to look at EV charging stations with canopies, go ahead and stick around to the end. Thanks for watching.